out here today on my birthday doing a little birthday fishing looks like somebody got to my spot before they got here it's all right you don't have to fish over there we could just fish right here some big fish right in this little channel i didn't bring any bait with me today yeah like i said nothing but swimming today got this big kai tech big bait big fish hopefully something bites on it see how it swims in the water oh yeah if i was a fish i'd bite it So what I'm doing, I'm just letting it hit bottom and slow retreat back. Just letting it hit bottom and slow retreat back. This big huge swim bait. It's a twelve dollar swim bait. <laughs> yeah, it broke off from the big one, so now I'm going to black, which is always a good one. It's a little rough though. And you should feel a thump when you get a bite. So when you retrieve, it should be a smooth, steady retrieve. And if you feel like a, a quick little tiny sudden thump, it's probably hit it's a rock. But when it's a bite, it's like a huge thump. The feeling is very distinct. Just take some practice and patience. Once you catch a fish on a swim bait though, you almost don't want to go back to bait. They have some freedom to throw.
took a while, but I made it spot number two. It's a little bit too low tide for me, but here at least I can cast and not worry if I'm tangling someone else's line. What the? What is wrong with my reel? I broke off of, which was kind of almost perfect because now I can teach you how I set up my rig. And if for those who know what everything is, bear with me. I'm going to teach you like if you did it. And if you don't know where everything is, pay attention. So I got a swivel here. All right, and that's connected to this mainline braid, 40 pound. And the reason why I don't connect this line straight to my, to my swim bait is because the line rubs up, rubs up on the rocks and it will, it will get cut easier than mono will. And the, uh, the knot I'm doing is the uni knot. It's real simple. You put it through, you kind of just make a loop your hands nothing special just a loop with your hands and with the tag end you put it in you, throw, you twist it inside that circle five six seven times no matter how many and then you slowly pull make sure everything's even and it should look like tying it down it should look like that when it's done Cut off the tag end. If I can find my knife. Perfect. Now I need my leader. It's like 50 pounds. Actually, no, 40 pounds. Now, the reason I use this line, which is mono filament is because when this rubs up on the rocks, it doesn't, it doesn't get scratched up as easily or won't break off as easily as braid will. And I just do the uni knot. I do the uni knot for everything. This one, you might, you want to lube it up with like saliva or spit, that way it won't fray. Pull it down. Make sure both ends are tight. Cut off the tag in. Okay, so now that you got that done, you get your your weights. Now I have a bullet weight and egg weight. I go one ounce. I usually do an ounce and a half. It depends on the conditions, but it seems a little rough, so I'll do an ounce and a half. And then pick your swim bait. I did black, lost it on black. So let's try red. Sucks that they don't make a Kitek this size or bigger than this color. It's a really good one. But we'll try red. And then we'll try blue next. If this one breaks off. So. The bullet weight goes first, then the egg weight, then your J hook. The way you put a J hook onto a swim bait, I already have it on, but I'll just take it off and show you, is you measure it and see where the hook was gonna come out. Since the J starts there, I'm not gonna go in that deep. Go from the top, come out down the middle, all the way down, turn it. And you see that it's supposed to come, the hook's supposed to come out here, so I bend it down and put it through. And that way it's hidden. So when the fish bites, the hook becomes exposed, but when it goes through over the rock, it shouldn't catch on the rock. So then you put your line through. 
do a uni knot. Lube it up. Tying it down. Cut that tag on, off. And you're ready for business. But yeah. And just do everything I said before. Cast it, let it hit bottom, slow retreat back. And before you know it, you'll be eating fish tacos that night. So when you're stuck like this, I think I'm just like on the rock right there. You like wanna just pop your rod any way you can. Hopefully it gets stuck. If not, you wanna give it, bring it up to its full tension and open up the bail. And that should send a shock wave down to help you get off the rocks. Oh, I'm in the kelp, not the rocks. Yeah, it works like 50% of the time. Sometimes you get free, sometimes it doesn't, but I think I'm on the rock, on the kelp. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break off again. Tour recorded too late, but finally had a hit on Black Kai Tech. I think it was a cabazon, but didn't set the hook good enough. Man, that was a good hit too. Let's see if I can get him again. Come on. Yeah, it's a ling. It's a little ling. Yeah. It's not bad. Only took three hours of freaking swim baits. No need for measure, but they need to be 22 inches. This guy's definitely not. Look at them teeth. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. There we go. 
call them parasites. But if they have these parasites, that usually means it's a healthy fish. Man, did he get put up a fight. So, goodbye, buddy. Thank you. You're my birthday gift. Thank you, Ocean. 12 minutes on my GoPro left. We record using this big seven inch big hammer. I lost the first one, <laughs> but it's high tide now. So hopefully that changes and then a massive link card strikes this. It's kind of hard to cast, a little heavy. Bottom. <laughs> 